Well, he needs to have a big year. Obviously, uh, you know, he needs to you know, take up the slack also for, for losing uh, Corey. But I think one of the best things about Akeem is he had the opportunity to work with Corey. And, and Corey really uh, taught him the work ethic. He taught him the, you know, the leadership. And, and, and I see Akeem trying to do that. And, and uh, just I'm proud of him because he, you know, he's not where he needs to be yet or where he's going to be, but he's working hard. And, you know, I think he's got a chance to be a, be a really good player for us. What about Whitney, just kind of the incident he had over the spring? I mean, just kind of shrugging that off and just kind of plugging along? Well, I mean, he just lost the end of his finger. I mean, I, I mean it was probably more dramatic for Lou than it was for Whitney, but uh, he's all right. He, he's good and it hadn't, hadn't, hadn't affected him uh, out here on the field at all. And he's got to be a key contributor, too, for that D-line, doesn't well, he? Well, no question. No question. And I, I think he'll, he'll have a chance. He showed signs last year, but, but he, he's, he's got a chance to be – be a good player for us as well. So we'll be, we're going to be all right. We're going to look, we're a little thin, like a lot of people are, and that's something you, you know, that you get, you, hopefully you get a few breaks and keep some guys healthy. But uh, uh, we get some guys that, that are going to come along, and, and I think Craig is, is making strides every day. And you know, I, I think we're going to be fine in the defensive line. That's a hard spot to fill. You've always said that, right? Tackle, that defensive yeah. tackle. You know, they, they get down in the briar patch now. I mean, those your linemen. That, that, those are that's where the game's played, and. Uh, you got to have some guys that, uh, you know, you got to have a little luck, stay healthy, but uh, then you've got to have guys that can, that can play. Coach, how's AJ? Is, is his wrist healthy? And is his well, he tweaked else? his hamstring, okay. you, know, uh, uh, you know, but he, he'll be all right. He, he's, you know, and once again, a little bit of it's precautionary. And, uh, but, but he tweaked his hamstring the other day, the other morning, whatever, Wednesday morning. Mm -hmm. And so uh, being careful with that. Does he have a uh, he's got he's got a, He's got a strain peg. Mm -hmm. his, he, wrist? His, his wrist is fine. Wrist is fine. Wrist you're, you're not, so when he, I don't see him in much in the, in, in the competition stuff. You're just, that's from the injury. Well, yeah, well from that. The, from the, the hamstring. hamstring. Nothing right. to do with the wrist. No, no. Will he play tomorrow? Probably not. Even without him, you seem like you're, you've got some depth at receiver. Yeah, we've got some guys that can, you know, he can play. I think, you know, uh, that's the whole, that's what it's all about is you guys stepping up. And I think uh, Spence has had a great camp. Ryan Langford's had a great camp. Uh, Darius is, you know, Coming on really today, I, I can really feel Darius. And, you know, I, I think we'll have a chance. Is the punter situation that's going to be an ongoing thing, or is it? Well, a little bit. I, I you know, I, a little bit. I thought Justin. Uh, I, I got to go. I wasn't. I'm not watching the punts. I'm watching the, the, the protection and the sure. return stuff and block stuff. But uh, uh, yesterday, he, he he hit some boomers yesterday, and uh, I, I think the consistency is coming. And, and you know, the, the, he's working on some things that. Uh, it's a little bit different for him. Touch okay. the toe, the speed. Uh, 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 but, but I mean, I, I feel pretty good about where we are there. Plan for tomorrow night is normal as it, as you've done it in the past. If if the weather cooperates. Yeah, if the weather, you know, I mean, we're gonna follow the weather. If something happens that, you know, where it, it's, I don't want to tear their field up. And, and right. uh, you know, if it gets too muddy, then then we'll, we'll get them on the buses and go back to Champagne. And hopefully that doesn't happen. But uh, uh, I don't, you know, I'm sure they don't want us tearing their field up either. But the indoor's an option if you, if you got really torrential rain all day. Indoor? Yeah, or do you go just go in the stadium? Okay. Yeah. If, if yeah. as long as there's no. Yeah, I think we hopefully we'll, we would know by noon. You okay. Know, and make that call. You always um, got the buses somewhere, right? Ready. Well, the buses are going to be here anyway, so all we got to do is just go, go farther. Go to Champagne. Thoughts on scrimmage tomorrow? You know, what would you like to see from your team in that first scrimmage? Well, continued improvement, no injuries. Those are the. <laughs> and, I, and I think you know, once again, they, like today, they've gotten better every day, every practice. And, you know, they got to go out there and just let it loose, and, and uh, you know that's not and it's not going to be. We're not going to be as good as we're going to be in the first game. I mean, we're not supposed to be, but uh, I think we got to continue to improve. And then, you know, like I say, pray to God we don't have any injuries, as, as everyone does.